on guys um i am making some epic hip-hop today i had some voice memos i wish i could share them with you because but I'm, I'm on tiktok at the same time but um had some cool voice memos that i wanted to turn into some brass and now we're making some trailer music with it so uh let's go ahead and, and get into it okay so i've been working on this for maybe the last hour or so we got drums and stuff situated but now I'm making like different pads and um, epic textures. This is what I started with. So this brass. Actually, let's start with the the, the line. This is the line I came up with. Ooh, hold on a second. We got some chop. I wonder where that's coming from. Reactor. There's nothing on reactor. Let's uh let's go ahead and delete that. See if that helps. What's going on, guys? If you have any questions about sync licensing, um, music production, music, um, music theory, let me know in the comments. I'm here to help. All right, let's try this again. So this is the brass line I came up with. And from there. Is having a hard time here. Let's freeze this because we've already decided that's what we want it to sound like. Maybe that'll help. Interesting. Very interesting. This thing wasn't giving me problems before. It's probably because I'm streaming. But, uh, cheer. I'll try to share it again. So I literally just transcribed this from a voice memo that I had like over the weekend. I thought this would be a cool sound, but I couldn't get to producing it because I had some client work I had to take care of, um, mixing, mastering, that kind of stuff. And then preparing my outline for the uh, sync class. But I've carved some time out of my schedule. To <laughs> So that's what we that's what I wrote and then I added some extra brass to it. Appreciate the likes, thanks. And then we came up with the brass. Sound. <laughs> Cool, cool, cool. Actually, I think it's this low brass that's giving me the problem. Let me freeze that real quick. <clears throat> but from there, I started putting the string arrangements to, to said track. So I'm going to pull those up and play them together real quick. So as you can tell, this is like I'm trying to keep a really, really hype energy for this track. From normally with epic hip hop, that's what you want. You want to try to keep a really, really high level of energy going. So from there, come on, come on. You got 10% left. There we go. From there, we got the strings as well. And then add drums. Streaming. Oh, you're alive? Yep. Oh, I, I tried to tell you. So we got that, and I got the verse that I'm building at the moment right now.
perfect amount of space, but I need to put like some sprinkles in for cinematic effect. And then we have the intro, which is what I'm building right now. <laughs> Bro, them, them moments is dangerous. I'll be trying to warn them. <laughs> but uh, that's just how it works. I always announce, hey, and I, I um about to go, but the load live. I think she was editing, so she probably didn't hear me. But it's all good. Yes, honey. What do you need? Jeez. Yo, what up, Jack? Um, I'm using um, I'm using iRig Stream. I plug it directly into my audio interface, so you guys can literally, literally like put on headphones and hear everything, like including the bass, because that's always a problem, right? I'm using Ableton at the moment right now. Um, let's try to flip this a little bit. If you guys are interested, I am streaming on YouTube so you can literally see everything I'm doing right now in real time. There might be a little delay, but um, let's see here. We have the rhythm change, but I want some different textures. So I'm gonna pull up thermal and slap that on there. Thanks fam, appreciate it. That is, uh, that is definitely the motto for the year. Like everything I'm doing, we're gonna try to take it to 10. Uh, let's see, what do I want? I want some distortion, but I want it to be, I want some, I want a warm distortion. It's probably not going to come from this preset. looking for some uh, some interesting things to to build off of this sample oh yeah for sure that's what I'm here for we're here to help if you guys have any questions um, make sure you type them out in the comments I will literally stop what I'm doing to try to help do I have pro tools templates no I do not I don't mess with pro tools you got to pay to even use them I'm a big Ableton guy big Ableton guy myself Mm. Kind of like that. Sharper. See if I can get some more bite. That's an that's what is that? Like a phaser? Has more of a melodic element to it. I like it. For sure. Now, when you say vocal enhancer, what do you mean? Do you mean like enhancing the the tone structure, like like what notes you're playing, or do you mean like the warmth or uh, the sibilance, the detail in a vocal? There's all kinds of things out there. What do you what are you what are you trying to um, accomplish with your vocal enhancer? Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Warmth. Um. So, if you want warmth, I would go for even harmonic um, saturators. So like tube saturation, like a um, decapitator, I think actually has a tube saturation mode. Um, things like that would help. Tape saturation could help as well. Um, it makes it sound a little bit more old school so that you get that, that girth out. You could also like, I'm trying to think, if you want war more warmth in your vocals, you could just use an EQ. That's probably your cheapest option because EQs are pretty much stock and free and all work the same. Um, if you pull up like, I want to say anywhere between 300 to maybe eight, 300 to a thousand, let's just be conservative. That will normally give you a little more warmth. You know what I'm saying? Try those out. Analog plugins give a lot of warmth. But saturation is normally the key. The dynamics, if your dynamics need some help, uh, obviously a tube. If you can get an analog compressor, that would 
you would kill two birds with one stone. I'm streaming through the iRig stream from computer to, um, not analog, um, audio interface to the iRig stream, and then it has a cable that goes directly into my phone. Yep. This actually sounds better. Let's take it. This sounds See, this sounds warm. I'm using saturation right now. Like, here's, here's a cold and dry. Distortion up or saturation. They're kind of the same thing, but different in intensity. Could I make a video on how to set it up? I have. I think uh, it might have been like maybe two, three weeks ago, but I showed my OBS setup. Um, maybe I'll do another one. But yeah, for sure. <laughs> Um, I, I'm gonna make this swing a little bit. I think that'd be kind of cool. Um, but in order to do that, I'm gonna have to freeze this. Put some more groove with it. What syncing agency am I with? Am I exclusive with them? I work with a multitude of different um, sync libraries, agencies, and things of that nature. Um, I show you how to find them in the class that we're doing we got one next week, next Saturday, and one we have one filling up in February. And I show you how to research and find these things. It's not with Google. I can guarantee you that. Um, but normally, like I, I just did a video today. Like there's some, um, what is it? Jingle Punks is looking for people with uh, full length songs ready to go. So that's definitely one. You could try like Artlist, Marmoset, Music Bed. Those are some quick ones that you can kind of look up and I think they're always open to new music. Do I write songs or collab with others? I do both. Um, I don't as often do collaborations, but um, I think this year I'm going to try to change that for sure. So I'm going to take groove pool here and see if I can come up with a, make this swing a little bit with the drums. I'll turn on the drum bus so you guys can actually hear them a little clearer because they're sounding a little weak sauce right now. I'll turn that down later. I should do some, some mixing tutorials on YouTube. That's, honestly, that's not how it works. I'm just doing it for, for the sake of streaming. What type of beats do I like doing the most? Probably this stuff, like cinematic hip hop. That's probably my uh, my go-to right now. There's a high demand for it for sync. I haven't cracked in yet with one of my own placements, but hopefully this year we're gonna change that. Try this one. Funk up tempo. Ah, uh, I don't know. This one's kind of cool. I just wish it was louder. Appreciate it. Thanks.
TV, I'm sure you'll end up finding one of them. But on a couple different TV shows and things like that. I actually make most of my stuff from scratch. Um, so if you want to collaborate or purchase said uh, instrumental, just shoot me a DM on Instagram and we'll link up. I'll make you something custom. First sync I landed, how long had it been? Okay, so this is exactly why I started the class is because like when I first got into sync licensing, it was when I first got married, which was like four or five years ago almost now. So like in that span, I had to figure out how to learn how, how to produce and then also like how to produce for sync because it's different. It's different and a lot of people don't like really understand or realize that. And so after I made that click, after like year, I got my first placement after a year and that was for Taco Bell. And it like blew my mind because it was, I think it was like a 30 second. No, it wasn't even 30 seconds. It was like a 15, anywhere between 15 to 20 second commercial. And it paid for, it paid like $5,000. And so from there, I was like, yo, I need to like break down what happened in this song so that I can make more of them and get placed more often. And so um, after, yeah, after that, I think everything kind of started taking off. And so from there, like making sure my stuff is arranged the right way. I started mastering it or mixing and mastering better and just started making more music. And when you make more music, you have uh, a higher chance of get something landing. You see what I'm saying? So definitely something that I would advise everybody to at least dabble in a bit. Definitely. Like even the way you print your track, like it's different than if you were streaming it as an artist. So basically the class like breaks down all that stuff, including like how to make sure your royalty uh, situation is set up with your PRO and um, like the different types of deals you can have and things like that. So it's re I think it's going to be really, really helpful to a lot of artists because I, I want to say like, I was doing that part time too, so it wasn't like I was just like completely all in. I was still working at like Guitar Center, and um, it was cool because at Guitar Center we could like reference check our mixes on the huge wall of speakers because I was in Pro Audio. That's how that's why I know so much about like gear and stuff because I used to um, we used to always get the new stuff and check it out and figure out how to apply it to what we were doing in our own artist careers. But like um, from there. Um, started getting more opportunities. I did some work for Audi, um, McDonald's, um, brands like that. And then from after I finally started matching my check, um, I said, all right, I think it's about time to go. So now I do this for a living, which is pretty awesome. Um, let's see here. I'm going to, I think this is cool. We're going to leave the variety in there. <laughs> Maybe I should do that for a second. Yeah, let's do it the second time around. So I got two verses here. So I'm going to take the fast one and keep it at the front just to keep a, a undercurrent of energy going. And then the second time around, we'll um, actually just leave it leave it off. That's fine. The second time around, we'll, uh, we'll do the skip. <laughs> sure I have oh did I mess something up looks like I did great sure did because I don't remember having snare at the very very beginning oh. Back. okay so what I need right now is to make sure these brams are nice and loud. Cause there's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff going on in this bram. So let's solo this and try to sound design it a little bit more. That's a little bit better. I'm gonna add a decapitator to it. D for decapitator. 
turn down a movie and play songs to see. Yeah, that's that's a great way to kind of figure out if you're following a scene for sure. Uh, I also recommend like you could grab something off of YouTube for free and score to it if that's what you really want to do. You know what I'm saying? I highly recommend doing stuff like that. It's good practice. This is not loud. It's not loud enough. But I guess it's not. It should still like give you a little extra punch. Distorting. That's a good balance. I'm going to add a boom. Now, this is the fun part of making cinematic hip hop is adding the cinematic sounds with said music. So I'm gonna open up my little folder here with all my all my booms and all that kind of stuff. And we're going to find the perfect one. I want one with a punch. That one's cool. I always like that one. I need to mark that as one of my favorites. Let's see what else we got. Played music and bands. Me too, man. Followed the same same order of events for sure. Um, pro start producing. Start producing. Because then you don't have to like feel always rushed trying to manage all the instruments and all that kind of stuff. You can do it all at the comfort of your own home. I kind of like this one. Let's try it. I'm gonna make a new MIDI. I'll probably layer this as well. Texture, texture, texture. Sounds good. Let me go ahead and drop that here. Yes. And then, I like that. Ooh. I don't like the the keys. I need something. Hmm. If you guys have any questions while I'm going through stupid samples trying to find the perfect snare, let me know. Um, if you don't layer someone, might find out you use the stock library sound. Oh no. Yep, got a layer. Ian, what up, bro? There we go. Have some. Uh, I need something with uh, some more high end. Using an app called Remix Live. Oh, that's cool. What DAW am I using? I am using Ableton. If you guys are interested to see what I'm actually doing, I am streaming on YouTube right now. try that it's not even what I was looking for but it's a cool sound yep That's right now. that's cool I always use that one Let's use a different one. There 
there's one in here called Surprise. I think I marked it. It's got a good punch to it. You can use this one too. Let's use this one. Sounds cinematic. Now, kids, don't do this at home without actually. When you layer appropriately, you got to get rid of some of this sub information because it's, it's not helpful at all. Just a bunch of garbage. That's what it sounds like to me. So let's, I'm gonna solo these and try to figure out what I want. This I obviously, obviously want more of the warmth from this. Perfect. Is this all on Ableton? Yes, this is all on Ableton. Let's put some distortion on that. Cause I don't hear it enough. I could be also going deaf. Yep, you know it. Efficiency is how you really, really get good at sync because like people need stuff on deadlines all the time. So like if you can if you can pump something out really, really quickly, you're going to be asked again later. See if I go a little deeper, if that makes any difference. Let's go to like a hundred. Yep, there it is. Gotta get that windy air. Yep, I can go in and experiment with all the sounds. That's exactly what I'm doing on Ableton. I have a system set up, so I'm using like a drum rack. And what I can do is when I throw an instrument onto one of the pads, it opens up a sampler for that exact pad so i can do all kinds of stuff in here like fade in and out i can um i can change the pitch to anything i want there's a pitch envelope which is cool um it's really really helpful okay so we got the mids i'm gonna label this mid oh come on ableton Oh, I must have hit the wrong. Yeah, I did. Dang, I hit the wrong key switch. That's okay. Let's try it again. I'm trying to be fancy. Okay, so we got that. Let's add the, the girthy bottom. I think it's this one. Yeah. Bass punch. I still think there's something bigger that we can be doing with this. I really do. And then the the last one. Where's that one sample that I always used to used to use? It's called like surprise or something like that. Courtesy of Boom Library. There it is. Unexpected. That's what it is. You hear the pop like. That's exactly what I'm probably looking for. That one has a lot of width to it. I like that one. Top five DAWs to use. I The only DAW I use is Ableton. I used to mess with machine when I first got started. Um, and then I moved to Logic, but Logic didn't have a lot of sound design options that I was looking for. Um, Ableton is my favorite. Um, from there, you got FL. A lot of people like FL because of its accessibility, but I'm not personally a big fan just because like it doesn't feel very organized. But all DAWs are the same. I think I'd rate Pro Tools the lowest because you got to pay for it constantly, which I'm not a big fan of. Okay, I'm going to switch this one out because I don't... It doesn't have the girth I'm looking for. So let's... Throw that one away and use one of the bigger ones. Yeah, this one just, it just feel wide. That's what I'm looking for. It's got a nice tail to it. If you guys are just joining us, we are making cinematic hip hop. Yeah, I'll do. Why 
is this? Oh, I got the stupid drum bus on. I'm like, why is the snare so loud? That works. Let's turn off the drums. Maybe the, um, the bram that I have is actually interfering with. I can't even hear what happened. Oh, idiot. Oops, I put it in the wrong spot. That hit's supposed to go. It kind of almost feels like a, a, a low explosion. Lawyer makes beats in the hose. What up, bro? I'm doing well. We're doing real well this month. It's good to start the year strong and fresh. How about yourself? I think I'm gonna put one more boom there. Looking forward to some really, really cool projects this year. I feel like I still need something else, like a drone, a high drone. Just to get like the creepy, creepy vibes. I got one, but barely hear it. Yeah. What if I took it up an octave? I already got too much bass information. I really do. This sounds like a bunch of garbage. New law firm, that's what's up. Making some tracks. A little here and there. A little beginning, middle, and end. Two, two octaves makes it whine. True. Very true. Yeah, content content game is is real. I'm behind. I was supposed to I'm been I've been posting six videos a day for like the last almost 15 days now and it hurts <laughs> it really does but um so try to get this uh social social media and um just playing the game like that's, that's part of it you know what i'm saying if i go up another octave like that but we're gonna have to change the attack the attack is way too long like i'm falling asleep over here okay so if i x out of here there we go there we go um yeah look at that that, that attack is way too long oh is that the okay we want to keep that pretty similar Oh yeah, always serious business. The music business is a serious business. That sounds better. Might be a little bit too much on the high end. need to be that loud at all it's gotten louder um perceived loudness because of uh, how high it is content is king guitar let's use the string reverb and then put 
pull the drums back in. type of sample in and flip it because uh what we got is cool it's enough space but you got to still give some type of texture so i'm going to actually let's let's do it here add another track and let's go through some samples what do you guys hear i'm hearing a pad but it'd be cool to kind of make a pad out of a sample instead of just playing one yeah yeah Let's try this. Um, oh, we got trap melodies right here. Nope. This is interesting. Let's try it. It's not the same BPM, but Ableton don't care. Boop. So we're gonna take this. It's an F sharp minor, so I need to go down one, two, three, four half steps. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's playing the right key. Yeah, B flat minor. This is probably too loud. Let's turn it down. This mug is not in time either. Fix that real quick. Oh yes, yeah, super off. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Set more sense. What would you say the music industry is 80% business, 20% skill? No, because the people with skill get paid. They just need more help. Awesome. I'm glad they're yeah if you guys put your headphones in you can actually literally hear everything i'm doing inside the dog like even like if i pan something you'll hear it in a different headphone which is awesome but this sample is not warped correctly so we're gonna fix it yeah it's ugly Last part with the uh, the trippy. It's a good starting point. All right, let's screw it up. I'm gonna first mess with the rhythms. I'm doing a class with sides very soon on how to uh, how to flip a sample, uh, a royalty free sample without getting having any issues. It's gonna be dope. If you guys are interested. We'll be talking about that very soon. Um, I'm gonna use beat repeat first because it's free and lovely. It's free and lovely. Oh shoot. This thing does not update on the stupid um, chat. Okay, 
cool. That's cool. That's cool. Let's uh, let's dive deeper. I'm gonna give it some saturation first because I'm I'm not hearing it very well, at least the way I want it. Give it some grit. Is it because your arpeggiator arpeggio is switching between major and minor? Yeah, that's probably what's going on. Cause we need. <laughs> I don't think it's switching between major and minor. on it. Yeah, this is definitely D minor. That's kind of cool. Let me see if I can duplicate that. Now it's a triplet. We need we need a duplet. Let's try something else. I like this. Now I gotta figure out what's doing what. That sounds wild. I like that. Let's put the reverse back in. I think it's the stretch that makes it all weird. Put the drums back in. That's what's going on. I transposed it wrong. It's supposed to, I'm in D minor here, which doesn't work. I need to be in. Okay, I see what you're saying, Ian. My fault. Ian was right. I am switching. My synth is in B flat minor, and the sample was in F sharp minor, but I transposed it down to D instead of B flat. So I need to go down one, two, three, four more. Oh, no, I don't need to do that on this. I need to do this on the sample. Man, I love the chat. Chat, keep you honest. Oh, one, two, three, four. Now let's try this. <laughs> I try to suppose that wrong? Probably did. Honestly, you can't even hear any distinct pitch anymore when you mangle it like this, but I gotta make sure it's right. So bear with me. Let me, uh, actually, I'll, I'll play it with the synth. Or, I mean, not the synth, the, um, sub. <laughs> I 
honestly, it's just texture now. I can't even, I can't depict the pitch. <laughs> Making a song in E minor, could I use G major for the hook? Yes, you can. And it would sound glorious because it's a it's an abrupt change, but not too drastic where like it throws people off. It'll be a complete mood change, which is totally doable. interesting i'm gonna have to like chop or like not chop but change the pitch mid sample hey nine people all we need fam it is all good yeah i'll just have to granularly fix this Actually, I don't even think that even helps. Let's go back to the sample flip. If we take that off. Okay, so turn that off. Let's go back to the beginning. Drums are from Cymatics. Um, I changed some snares and stuff out. Uh, this sample, this sample's from Cymatics too. I love their stuff. It's really dope, especially when you flip them. This, the original sample sounds like this. Where, oh, did I, what in the world? There we go, show in browser, where's it at? This is what the original sample is. Do I keep my YouTube lives up? Yep, sure do. Sure do. You can always go back and find them. I when I start doing interviews again with uh with all the homies and peeps, you can you'll be able to catch those too. I got a nice one with Lahima I need to release. It's finished editing. I just need to press the button. <laughs> Okay, when I put the Fectrix back on. I really like the sound when it's like messing with me. I gotta figure out what's causing the pitch to be mangled like that. Because I still like that grind. I could, like... Ooh, you hear that resonant tone, too? Jeez, there's so much stuff wrong with this sample. But if we fix it, I'm sure it'll be awesome. Listen to this. Hide your ears, hide your wife. And that's an F sharp, which makes no sense. 
because this has been transposed down like eight semitones. There shouldn't be an F sharp here. Here's another one too. Jeez. I need to pick a different texture. Because I do not want to keep cleaning this up. Yeah, let's just try to find another texture. Because this is cool and it goes with the drums. <laughs> find a new one because mm, it's not i'm not liking it just not liking it <laughs> too many resonant tones it just messed with it too much so let's uh let's just find another preset <laughs> Best place to get a friend recommended start with sync. Most talented person you know. If he's just starting to get in the sync, tell him to come through to the class because we'll get him started. Um, we're going through PRO information. We're going through how to get signed on a deal. We're going through what kinds of deals you might come across. We go through how to section your music off for sync. We go through all that. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh oh. Uh oh. What happened? What if we slowed this down? some more but um for phasing issues let's turn off the delay no we gotta leave that on there i have to fix that in, in post um let's put something else on this maybe like a crystallizer what up chad Yep, that's fine. I will be doing them. Um, so what I'm trying to do is make sure I limit the seats to the class so that everybody can ask questions like this. Yep, I should be on YouTube. Let me check. Yep, we're on YouTube still. Um, What was I saying? Um, as the classes fill, I'll book more. That way, like, nobody's being booked for a class and we didn't have enough people so i had to turn it off and like it'd be a mess so that's how i'd like to to do it so like yeah i think we already have one almost filled up for february i might do another one in february just because 
Um, I'll let you guys know when, when that happens. Chad, you came too late, fam. I should have got on. I should. Um, I'm gonna have to let people know when I'm going live, cause I'm trying to stay on a schedule, um, and go like four o'clock every day. But yesterday I had a bunch of other stuff I had to take care of. It's hard to be consistent. It really is. Um, what am I looking for? Not radiator. Even though radiator might be cool. Throw that on there. See what happens. This is the coolest thing about having a computer that can run all this kind of stuff. Nah, we don't need that. I can already hear it. It's not going to help. Uh, mm, I don't know. If I just turn down the output, is it still going to distort? Because I kind of like the... the, the, the whoop. <laughs> I'm running I say that and I probably should have waited another year I got the most souped up version of a MacBook Pro Intel before they switch the chips out so like it's got like 64 gigs of RAM like the highest processor I could get and uh, it's paid itself off already which is great it's just like Probably should have waited to try to. I was trying to future proof it, and then of course Apple was like, "Nah, bah, 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 we're not gonna do that." Cool. Um. Let me go back here. We'll have to put in the hits. I, I don't have any hits yet. Um, actually, what if I put in the booms? Will the booms work? Probably should get some variety. Like some, some metallic hits. Yeah, because you can't hear that. We need more punch. So let's start the verse here. Only Jams is in the house. What up? What up? What trailer is this for? I have no idea yet. Hopefully something uh something Marvel based. We'll see. Cinematics. Yep, we're doing some cinematic stuff today. Yeah, for sure, bro. Igor, what what's uh what's been new? What's crack lacking? How's the start of your year been? Sure, my microphone doesn't fall. Let's put some some cinematics down here. Let's go on my hits. I made some hits. I don't know if I'm able to use them because I signed them to a library. But we had some cool sounds that we made last week. I might have to use that. That's a cool, uh, cool whoosh sound. Let's uh, put that right there. Save it for later. Yeah. Cause I don't know if I like the hit. Hit just isn't doing it for me. Yeah. Cool. Um, let's continue on our search for the perfect snare. You got all your contact libraries to work. Awesome. Did you, did we ever go through a, a session um, on our, any of our one-on-ones on how to do that through Ableton? Like, so that you can only, you can use like, for instance, if you, if you go on YouTube right now, I'm, I'm literally, I, it's right here. Like I have one um, contact instance for all my brass. Like it's set up so, so every output goes to a different channel. What hits are these? These hits are from, they're from all kinds of places. They're from Devastator, from, um, what's it called? What's this stupid library called? Um, Keep Forced. We got some boom library in here. We got all kinds of stuff. I got some, some design stuff I've done on my own. 
Terminus hits. I don't know where they're from. Ooh. I like that one. Let's use that one. Punches you in the face and then like disappears. Almost sounds like a screaming eagle. We got this uh, ride roller coaster in Six Flags in St. Louis called the Screaming Eagle. I was terrified of it as a kid. It sounds just like that too. That's nasty. I don't know if it, that's like a shock hit. You're not gonna use that the whole time. It's just too much, it really is. Turn it down a little bit. So now, so now I've lost the punch. I need to make sure the velocity's up. A storm trooper blast? It kind of does. That's awesome. That sounds like a transformer, obviously. I don't want to go to my regular go-to hits, but I kind of need it right now. Yeah, this one. It's just, this this hit, it's called Titan Clash. Like, it just works. It sounds big, it's wide. It could always use a little extra punch, which is fine. That's easy to, to fix, but like, it's just my favorite hit. It's almost like a signature hit for me of how huge it is. I use it on everything. Woo! Crazy. All right, now I need some short hits to give it that punch. Nope. 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 Um. Hmm. There we go, short hits. Little trick, um, if you want really, really loud hits, go for it. Don't go for the bottom end, go for the top end. White noise makes stuff sound really, really close. And you, normally, so when I'm designing hits and stuff for trailers, um, I, um, you're right, you can't. Um, I'm, what was that? I lost my train of thought. Um, I try to go for the white noise. It like fills up the whole frequency spectrum. It's really, really helpful. Let's stagger the hit because that always sounds cool, right? Right there, right there. Right there. Three, four, and then drop another hit right here. What do you do to have a decent sound and your mic at the same time without feedback noise? Know what kind of polar patterns you're dealing with. So my speakers technically are right in the same field, but I have a great preamp so that it gets rid of the noise, the low noise floor. And then this is also, I think it's a dynamic cardioid mic. So technically it's picking up everything from, from in the front. 
The back, I know it does have, it does pick up some like noise bleed, but it's not as bad as it could be as like a figure eight polar pattern or an omnidirectional. So like knowing that would, will help a ton. If you just get like a, not even a sure SMB, but like just a regular, like was it sure 58? Like you're not going to catch anything behind the mic. So it's definitely something you could use. Yours trips out. Yeah. I don't know why it doesn't do it, but maybe I have my mic set low enough to where it, like it doesn't care. this one there's too much tail let me uh let me shave some of that off yeah too much white noise this is supposed to be a short hit there we go I keep forgetting that this isn't mixed at all. Cause I'm like, yo, this, this hit doesn't punch. And it's because the drums have the stupid drum bus on. If I turn the drum bus off. Yeah, for sure. You go hit me up, bro. Still needs something else. I'm not sure what it is though. Yeah. I, I mean, I could put the brass in, but I'm kind of trying to hold that for later. Let's uh let's try it. Unfreeze. Put a little bit of girth in. Hopefully it doesn't kill my computer because I had to I had to freeze it earlier. <laughs> forest like keep it in the trees forest because i don't want to i this is the weird part about making this stuff is that like yeah i could add a bunch of stuff like a, another synth would be great but like i want to make sure there's enough space for um vocals and creativity because a, a rapper is going on top of this so it's like Where's the balance? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I'm gonna figure it out, but until then, it's din din time. So, if you guys don't have any other questions, I'm about to bounce. Um, if you do have a question and I'm already gone, you can always go to one of my comments in one of my videos. I read all of them. I really, really appreciate um, helping helping you guys out, and you guys help me all the time too. So, I'm trying to exchange informations and. Um, and try to help out as much as we can because, I mean, honestly, at the end of the day, music is subjective and we're all trying to eat, so.
if I can help somebody else out, that's what I'm here for. But cool. If you guys don't have any other questions, I'm going to sign out and uh, I will catch you guys next time. Peace. Thanks, Chad. Oh, hold on. What do you say? All right. Peace, guys. And hit the outro. Thank you.